This is Dash, and um, I know, I know, I know, I have not done anything with the uh, with the Priscilla project, and there's a good reason for that. One, I live in Baltimore. It's hot right now because it's summer. It's too damn hot for me to be out in my garage today when I'm shooting this update. It is like 85 degrees and it is humid as the day is long. In the middle of summer, on the summer solstice. I think that's the longest day of summer, right? You guys can tell me if I'm right or wrong in the comments. Alright, so, um, with the last week, or le when I last left off about Priscilla, I said my initial plans were to clean the smoker out, kind of assess what was going on inside the smoker, uh, do some quick cleanup things and uh, pretty much go from there. I've done absolutely none of those things. Again, because it's been hot and I've had other things to do. I, I do, you know. I mean, those potatoes take priority over everything else, right? <laughs> anyway, um, so let me go ahead and pull Priscilla out. So let me show you what I've done. So you guys know the $50 trailer that has uh, served me well. Priscilla is in here. You guys saw the engine hoist um, from when I blew up my uh, TDI in my uh, Passat. Okay, you see some more drum projects. My toolbox over there. Hey, I know I've seen I've seen people uh, do these before. Let me know if you want to see a tour of my toolbox. I, you know, I don't know if you guys are interested in that or not. But let me go ahead and get Priscilla pulled out. And um, we'll take a look and see what's going on inside Priscilla. So uh, give me a couple moments and uh, let's get it done. Okay, so uh, here's a good look inside of Priscilla here. And um, I've gone ahead and moved the grates out of the way, kinda. So at this point, best thing I can, uh, best thing or what I'm going to do is uh, attempt to go ahead and get this thing cleaned out. So I'm going to uh, get my shop back. So I got the inside of the uh, of Priscilla cleaned out pretty much as best I could. There is a little bit of crud and crap. Let's see if I can get my light down there. There is still a little bit of crud and crap um, down in this corner over there. It's not really coming out on camera, uh, but for the most part, uh, I got the. The good majority of it cleaned out so my plan as of right now is to pretty much leave the bottom rack alone the way that it was because this bottom rack fits down into the um there's a little shelf there right there so it fits down in that bottom shelf and i'm gonna leave that alone but the top rack however i want to create a um a sliding rack type system so I don't know whether I'm going to cut, pardon the sweat mess, but I don't know I'm going to, I don't know if I'm going to take the existing shelf that's in there and like cut an inch or two off of it so that it fits on the shelf or if I'm just going to make a whole new shelf. Uh, I haven't decided just yet. I'm going to kind of see exactly what that one looks like and how difficult it might be to cut it up, cut it up or cut it open. Um, and I'll go from there. All right. So. I'll be back in a bit. Before I forget, um, I think I showed this before how well 
the door opens and closes. So I think I might uh, work on that in a few moments just to kind of put a notch or to sand down this so that the door closes a little better. Um, it really isn't all that great of a design. Anyway, uh, I'll be back. So, uh, as you saw, I cut a notch out in the uh, door here so that the door opens and closes a lot easier. Uh, that's great. Made that a lot easier to get it open and closed. Now the door actually semi-works. Next thing I'm going to have to do is work on some sort of closure system because this uh, bolt and nut thing that they have going on here uh, that doesn't actually work at all uh, don't quite know what I'm gonna do but just to show you how thick this is this is I don't think it's quarter inch uh, it might be uh, 3 8 let's let's find out I don't know check that out we are looking at almost a quarter inch that's quarter inch diamond plate so, uh, yeah. <sighs> now, wonder it was so easy for me to cut. <laughs> All right, on to the next step. All right, well, surprise, surprise. So I just, um, I just went ahead and uh, pulled the little fire brick that was in there out. Actually, I don't even know if it's a fire brick. Maybe it's just a paper. And I took this piece of expanded out. And now I know why that was in there. Check out that right there. That's pretty awesome. So, uh, I need to cut this out of here, unfortunately. And what I'm going to do in its place is I will put some, uh, I'll put some trays or something for this to sit for some two inch angle to sit in here where I can put in a sliding basket. Uh, for my firewood and things like that so I can always take it in and out um, and I'll have the ability to clean it out from the bottom so now uh, ode to joy cutting metal in tight spaces I'm gonna have to I don't know if you can see the uh, there is a bit of um, expanded up here at the top as well so I'm gonna cut this out so I have more headroom Pour it down here and uh, we'll keep going.
Okay, so uh, as you saw, I was able to get the uh, that little rack at the top out. I got to go back in here and clean up. <clears throat> There's some jagged edges in here, and I'll knock this little piece of, uh, uh, what is that, flat stock out at some point. But now, <clears throat> to work on this, um, looking at it, it actually seems to be welded pretty well. So I'm going to try to buzz straight down the side here. And then on the other side, because of the fact that the... <clears throat> so the angle grinder goes in a direction, okay? And the rotation of the blade is this way. So when I cut this way, you see the sparks are going... You see the sparks are going down. When I come back in the other direction, I'm going to have to change the orientation of the of the uh, grinder or of the cutoff tool with the cutoff wheel on it, and uh, it might make for an interesting time. So I'm going to leave that for last, obviously. So <clears throat> first things first, let me go ahead and get the uh, this far side cut out. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, I got the inside of the smoker cleaned out. I got the inside of the firebox cleaned out. And uh, I might have to end it here. I have to get back in the house and get some things done. So, but I'm, I've come to a good stopping point. So next time, I think I'm actually gonna end it here. I'm gonna clean out this little bit of mess down in here. Uh, and. Next time, my plan is to uh, weld some or put some brackets in here to hold a uh, charcoal basket. Uh, either a charcoal basket or a, um, you know, like a firewood basket. I'll probably, I mean, we have a decent amount of, of space in here. So, it could be a pretty decent size. But I'm going to use this already existing or these uh, rails that are already in here. I'll try and clean that out, weld those up a little more solidly, and then I'm going to come in here with some 2x2x3 uh, two by, two, uh, by three sixteenths, some of the leftover angle from making the trailer there, and I'll make a, a little bracket stay so that the uh, charcoal basket can slide right in on that. Um, but, as always, uh, thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, um, check out the uh, first part or two of this uh, particular series of this uh, it's not even a build it's more of a, a restoration of this uh, smoker the smoker's name is Priscilla if you didn't already know um, please take a, a moment to uh, check the first and or second video out and um, as always thanks again for watching if you haven't already please do subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more content thanks